Yo, what's going on everyone? We're back. I'm here bringing you another NBA 2K21 video. And in today's video, as I can tell by the title, we are going to be doing the Atlanta Hawks rebuild. And these two players that the, the Atlanta Hawks took are pretty much deals of the draft, in my opinion. Just because, for the matter of fact, is that Sharif Cooper was supposed to be literally a top 20 pick. Not top. Uh, he was supposed to be picked mid-round to late first round. And he went in the second round to the Hawks, which was just crazy, man. The dude boy, went to Auburn. He was there for one season. He averaged like 20 points, eight assists. He was pretty good, man. I think he pretty much went um, in the second round because of his height. He's like six foot, six foot one. But Jalen Johnson also fell in the draft, man. I think he could be the steal of the draft. Like both these dudes could be the steals of the draft, man. He went to pick 20, I believe 20. It was like, or it was 20 something, man. I can't really remember. But this dude was supposed to be like a top 15 pick and he fell all the way to the Hawks as well. And he went to Duke, yeah, he went to Duke and Man, I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all think these two picks are steals? I know Sharif Cooper is definitely going to be a steal, man. Dude's been balling in the summer league. It's just crazy and wild. But if you're new to the channel, guys, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. And let's hop into this video. So the Hawks is a well-rounded team, man. I really think Sharif Cooper could be Trey Young's backup for quite some time. He is 20 years old. Trey Young just to get that max extension as well. And De De DeLon Wright probably won't even be here for this video because I want Cooper to get some burn. And then... Over here, Jalen Johnson is a 75 rookie Why Danilo Gallinari is only at 80. So I feel like I'm going to trade Gallinari for something else. Maybe a backup center. I mean, we already have backup centers. We have two backup centers, man. With the guy they drafted last year, and they signed Gorgie Dang from the Spurs. This team is just well-rounded, man. Like, up and down, they're well-rounded. Like, you got Trey Young, and then they could. They have Cooper, who is going to be the backup point guard for this video. They have Bogdan Bogdanovich and Lou Williams and Kevin Herter backing him up. Then they have, like, Daniel Hunter, Cam Reddish. Like... They have all these good backups and they got John Collins, Gallinari, Jalen Johnson, and then Clint Capella, Gorgie Ding, and Double O, man. Like this team is wild, man, but I do want to get Cooper and them some burn. So I do just want to get rid of, um, I want to get rid of DeLon Wright and see what we can get for DeLon Wright and Gallinari just to get Jalen Johnson and Cooper some playing time, man. Like that's what we need to do. We could really get Clay Thompson, man. That'd be, that's wild. We can get Clay Thompson. Um might actually do that because that definitely helps Trey Young out like that just made this video a whole lot easier but that does help Trey Young out like tremendously Trey Young is not a great defender and Klay Thompson is one of the best defenders in the league um who is the shooting guard right now like Kevin Herter and then all these other guys so it's like yeah let's take Klay Thompson um these aren't really even realistic rebuilds either so I don't want it I know it's not really I know it's not a realistic trade but that just clears up space. Oh, let's bug down Bogdanovich. We'll let's make one of them. We'll let's make bug down the small forward. But there's just so many young players on this team. Like you got Hunter at small forward. You got Cam Reddish at the back of small forward at 75. Then Bogdan goes to 82 at small forward. I do want to start Hunter, but I'm just trying to get Jalen Johnson some burn and Cooper. So this is the lineup it's going to be. Hunter's going to get minutes to Williams. Sadly, I think we're going to have to give Jalen Johnson um gorgie dang's minutes and after that um because we already have we don't even have a backup center playing we have so many shooting guards lou williams is up there in age i rather kevin herter get the burn and we'll give it to cooper man it, it just sucks that like, this team is so well rounded that you really have to give some minutes to other people so we're going to give it to cooper and johnson um we'll switch these two just to get him some more burn give him 18 minutes and cooper 21 minutes so this is the rotation for season one man Trey Young, Klay Thompson, Bogdan Bogdanovich, John Collins, Clint Capella, Daniel Hunter, Cooper, Jalen Johnson, Kevin Herter, and Cam Reddish. If I need a big, we'll get a big off the bench. We have the young, the two, the two young centers. So let's see how this team does, man. Finished the first season, and man, this was a disaster. We went 40 and 42. Um, no one really made it. Lamelo Ball got Rookie of the Year. Um, Trey Young did make All NBA first team for us, which is really good. Trey Young made it, and then. Uh, Clay Thompson made it. I think I saw. Did I see Clay Thompson somewhere? Maybe I saw Steph Curry's face. I don't know. But Clay Thompson didn't make it. He didn't even make an all-defensive team either. And we did not make the playoffs. Sadly, we didn't make the playoffs. So let's go over here and look at season standings, player stats, and Trey Young led us with 26 points. It was pretty much 27 points and 11 and a half assists and five rebounds. That's pretty impressive for Trey Young right there. And then Clay Thompson with 22, two and three. John Collins, 14, seven. I wish he would get his rebounds up to like 10. But Lou Williams had 12 off the bench, Bogdan, but we wanna see what the two steals of the draft did. 
What did Sharif Cooper do? Only four points per game and three assists. And then Jalen Johnson had four and a half, two and two. So it's not too bad, but Sharif Cooper's field goal percentage was pretty bad. Did you say he was a 68 now? Did you say Sharif Cooper was like a 68? This dude went down four overall. That's wild. That is wild. But let's go and uh, let's try to get this team better, man. Like the Lakers going to win the chip. It's expected. Russell Westbrook's over there now. So let's... So let's head to the NBA draft. We should have a top pick. I don't really want to use that top pick. Like, we have, this team is so young, man. Send him to the next user pick, and we have pick six, uh, 15 or 14, my bad. Pick 14, and I don't even know what to draft here. JD Davidson, another point guard that we don't even need. Um, I just might trade the pick with, like, Lou Williams or something. We don't have Lou Williams. Um, it's like, who do I, I get a better center for this team? Like, John Con Clint Capella is good, but could we get a great center? Like, Rudy Gobert or something? Um, doesn't look like we can, honestly. If we go to, um, is there a way to get Joel Embiid over here? We would require eight more million than allowed. I'm pretty sure we couldn't get Joel Embiid, but if there was a way, I would want it. Um, no one really makes eight million. Like Daniel Hunter would have to be in the trade and we can't even trade him. So let's go. I think that's why we can't get Rudy Gobert right now. He makes more money than anyone. He's like the highest paid center in the league, which is kind of wild if you think about it. Uh, where's Rudy Gobert at anyway? I don't even see the Jazz. Yeah, we would have to give up nine more million. So to get nine more million off the hands, we have to give up like one of these guys like Kevin Herter. He can't even like it'd have to be Bogdan Bogdanovich. I don't really think it's worth it. So, if I just put the pick up, what can I just get for the pick? Um, let's just put the pick up. And it's because, like, there's all these good players, but, like, you just want something like Lonzo Ball for John Collins. No. Clint Capella for this. No. DeJounte Murray. He actually fits the youth. And Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson is a better player than DeJounte Murray, but you get. DeJounte will progress better than, uh, than Clay Thompson would. Um. I think I'm gonna take the Jonathan Murray deal. So let's take the Jonathan Murray deal. And it's just because honestly, we're a youth team right now. Like Trey Young's the focal point, he's young. Jalen Johnson, Trey Cooper are in this video, they're young. I do know that he fit he fits the the mold. Clay Thompson, like he's a really good two-way player to fit next to Trey Young, but we're just trying to get these guys young and these guys going, man, progressing. For agency, I really don't want to go to for agency for the fact that there's no really point unless we got to bring anyone back. Like, Lou Williams, he can walk. Gorgie can walk. All these guys can walk, man. Um, they're not really worth bringing back. I mean, maybe Gorgie, just for like one year. Just to have, like, just to have that backup center in case, like, we trade Clint Capella or something. But other than that, let's go to player progression. And real quick, I'm going to move DeJounte to the two guard. DeJounte's going to go to the two. He's at 87. He's already better than, uh... He's already better. Where did Cooper go? That's what I'm talking about, man. Like, why does this game do that? Sharif Cooper is really not there, man. Like, um, where is Sharif Cooper? He's not interested. I don't know why he's an unrestricted free agent, but I'm gonna get him back on the team, man. So don't worry. We're gonna get him back on the team. Let's go to player progression real quick and we'll see what happens. Um, everyone went up, training to 93, but Jalen Johnson, Jalen Johnson went to a 77, that's good man, someone went down. But we gotta go get Sharif Cooper back and I'm not, we're gonna go get Sharif Cooper back man, that's just retarded. Like, I know he's on a two way deal, but he shouldn't be on a two way deal. So let's go to player finder, Is it, oh yeah, let's go to player finder. And look for Shreve Cooper real quick and see if we can just sign him out of free agency. I don't think we can because he's going too much money. I'm gonna have to turn cap space off just to get him. Shreve Cooper, sign. Yeah, he wants 13 million. Man, that's so stupid. Like, all right, I'm gonna have to turn salary cap off real quick to go sign Cooper, and I'll be right back after this. All right, so we're back. We just got Shreve Cooper. He's back on the roster, man. Um. So the lineup's gonna be Trey Young, DeJounte Murray, Daniel Hunter, John Collins, 
Double O is going to be starting over Clint Capella, which is really good. Clint Capella is off the bench with Bogdan. Um, we're not going to start this other rookie. It's going to be Jalen Johnson who gets some burn. Um, sorry, you're not going to be playing. It's time we have so many point guards on this team too. It's wild, man. But Sharif Cooper is going to be playing. Um, I don't know why he's not playing. So we're going to be skimming. Mm, I might just send him back down to the G League if I can. And hopefully he gets better because we have so many point guards, man. Um, yeah, sign over there because we gave him a three-year deal. So he's here for the rest of the video. He makes 43 million, which is retarded because he shouldn't be. But yeah, we're going to send Shreve Cooper back to the G League and see what Jalen Johnson could do in the second season with the Hawks, man. We finished the season 54 and 28. That's really good, man. Like, on God, that's like... That's great, man, from what we did last year. So Lloyd Pierce did get coached here for us. Trey Young did make All-NBA first team. LaMelo Ball made it too good for him. Um, all defensive, all NBA second team. No DeJounte Murray anywhere. I believe DeJounte Murray always makes the all-defensive team, though, so he should be on the all-defensive team. And he's actually not. That's actually surprising. And we did get the first seed, of course. We went 58, 54 and 28. Now, if you look at the stats, the player stats, we were led by Trey Young's 31, 10, then it was John Collins 16, 7, and 2 assists. Then DeJounte had 16, 5, and 8. And then I don't know why this dude played. I hate when they mess up the I hate when they mess up the stuff that where they're not supposed to play and they still put him in the lineup, man. That means Jalen Johnson didn't get no playing time yet again because they're always messing up my depth chart. It's so retarded. It's supposed to be about Jalen Johnson and Sharif Cooper and it's really not and we got eliminated in the first round by the Knicks four to one Wow Well, we got one more year to try to go out and win this and Jalen Johnson's gonna be getting playing time No doubt about it. Like I'm not about to sit here and want make 2k mess the game up Literally Jalen Johnson's supposed to be playing and he didn't get no playing time uh, Just sim to the user pick or I pick 26. We'll just take the best player available Choose prospect and the best player is Robin Forbes another point guard great Let's go with this guy and probably won't even get any playing time so i want to know what y'all take is on jalen johnson and shreve cooper do y'all think they were the steals of the draft do y'all think they'll be solid players they'll be bust let me know what y'all think man sharif cooper everyone thinks he's like the next um he's the next uh chris paul because of his height and stuff but i don't man let's go to free agency and see who is available in free agency um I know we don't have cap, but we gotta bring Clint Capella back. Kevin Herter is someone I do want to bring back. And Clint Capella might as well bring back. We could probably do something with him. So we get Kevin Herter and Clint Capella back. That's all we really needed. And then player progression, we gotta see what Jalen Johnson went to. And we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, Jalen Johnson. Is an 80. That's not bad. He's actually an 80 overall, so he's going to be getting playing time. And let's just go to next season and see what happens. Let's see what happens, man. Like this is the last season, so it really doesn't matter what kind of rookies we do. Um. <clears throat> so with this, that's the same rotation as last season. Is Jalen Johnson in the lineup? He's still not in the lineup, man. If I make a small forward, will he actually get some playing time? That's the real question. I know we need a backup power forward, but. It's just crazy that he's not getting no playing time. He stays the same. Make sure you've Cooper as Yeah, man. I don't think sure if Cooper's gonna get any playing time. Jalen Johnson's gonna be getting playing time, man. Like, no doubt about it. We're gonna get him some minutes. Jalen Johnson could take Bogey on Bordanovich minutes. We already have so many small forwards anyway. I want Jalen Johnson to get like 20 minutes a night, man. Cam Reddish can get 15, 19, you can get 10, 20. I honestly wouldn't I actually wanted to be the six man. Ben Johnson could be our sixth man, bro. He's going to get minutes this season. We're going to see what he's actually capable of doing. So we're going to send this last to final season and see what Jalen Johnson's capable of doing, man. So we had the same exact record we did last year. No, we flipped it. We were 54 and 28 last year. We were 58 and 24 this year. Trey Young is your MVP. Isaiah Todd, Keldon Johnson, sixth man. Defense goes to Isaac and JT Thor, home on this first draft, most improved player. Boyd Pierce, coach of the year again. And then you got Trey Young as um, all NBA team again. And then you have all NBA first team, All NBA second team, no one. All NBA third team, not a single player to help Trey Young out, man. This is wild. And then no Dejounte Murray, man. That's wild. Dejounte Murray usually makes these teams, but we are the second seed this year. Actually, Chicago Bulls won 60 games or what? They had to win 60 games, maybe 59 or something. But player stats: 
Trey Young led us with 28 points, 3 rebounds, and 11 assists. It was John Collins, Hunter Solis, DeJounte, where is Jalen Johnson? Jalen Johnson put up 11 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists. That's what I'm talking about, man. I think Jalen Johnson could be a 20 point per game scorer, but it's just whatever 2K wants him to be, man. Like for right now, I feel like he can boost his overall up to maybe like 80 overall by the end of the season. Um, but we'll see what happens. So let's simulate the first round. Can we get past the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers? And we do get past Cleveland Cavaliers. And what is Jalen Johnson averaging for us? He's playing 22 minutes and he shot six points. So he's averaging about what? 10 points in the playoffs. That's not bad, man. 10 points in playoff game. Take on the three seater Pacers. Could we please get past Indiana and we get past them in five as well? Take on the one seater Bulls. And Jalen Johnson over here, eight points, 10 rebounds, three for five from the field. He's averaging 10, five, two and a half with 50% shooting, 50% from the three point line. How many three points is he attempting? Is the real question. He has five blocks. He's only attempted 20 threes. That's not a lot for a whole playoff series. Simulate around against the Chicago Bulls and we end up beating the Bulls in six, man. Let's go. Number one seed Bulls. Who's even on this Bulls team? Zach Levine, Jaron Jackson Jr., Patrick Williams. They probably TJ Warren, Gary Harris. Yeah, they got rid of um, DeMar DeRozan and Lonzo Ball. Unless Lonzo Ball was there. Is, was Lonzo Ball there? Yeah, Lonzo Ball is still there. But they got rid of DeRozan or Jaron Jackson Jr. And what is Jalen Johnson averaging? 17, man. That's what I'm talking about, man. 17 points. Where's his three-point shot? I'm curious where his three-point shot is. It's an 82. He should be attempting more threes, man. Something like the round against the Minnesota Timberwolves, and we do end up losing to the Minnesota Timberwolves, sadly, in six games. Carl Anthony Towns is your finals MVP. But let me know what your take is on Jalen Johnson, who averaged seven. He was a third leading scorer in these finals, man. 17 points, seven rebounds. Let me know what your take is on him and Shreve Cooper, who didn't really get to play because he wasn't progressing on the way. He wasn't progressing in 2K, man. 75 overall. I think Shreve Cooper will be a great steal for this team. He's going to be the backup point guard for the future. And they, uh, there's no way that he'll ever play next to Trey Young. Like, no uh, he might play, I don't know, man. But I just don't think there's no way. Trey Young's like six foot himself, and then Sharif Cooper's six foot himself. Like two small guards out there. I don't think that would work, but who knows, man. This is in the video, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.